as usual, the video will probably upload after the live so everybody else can watch it. And uh, don't mind the neighbors. They're having some construction done, so there, uh, there might be some profanity in the background. Just a fair warning, okay? Fair warning. Um, working on a bear, carved up the other day. Just got done doing a little fur work on him. He needs a little more work done. Got to get the details and stuff. And I will be repeating this once some people actually jump on. But because my videos upload, I got to give the uh, the what's up and the down low in the beginning. So everybody knows what the heck's happening, right? So anyway, this little guy right here, he's kind of pushing over a tree. I just finished up a tutorial on how to carve eyes. Which before we're done, I'll bring the camera in so you guys can see the eyes. Hey, hey, we got a few jumping on. What's up, Carving Kevin? Shane, thanks for stopping. What is up, Daniel? Uh, did I see your carving. All right, where'd you post it, Shane? I, I really got scatterbrains, man. I, I'm not sure. Where'd you post the uh, carving, dude, so I can check it out if I haven't already? I can't remember. I don't know. Let me know, all right? If I liked it or commented, chances are I, I saw it. I might have just forgot. Just let me know where it's on, what platform, and if I haven't, I will be sure to check it out. Headed to get a battery saw, all right? Channel on Facebook, all right. I will get on there this evening, and I will double check, okay? Um, just been busy a couple days, dude, so I will be sure to jump on and look at that, okay? Bonjour, that's all I know. Thanks for stopping, cool stuff. So guys, just repeat, I'm working on this bear. I did a lot of the fur work already, um, and just did his eyes with saber tooth flame bits and I made that a tutorial it was a request from rough cut chain I believe rough cut chainsaw carving which is Dale rough uh, great guy he's got a YouTube channel rough cut chainsaw carving I believe you guys go over jump over follow Dale's channel he's trying to get that thing going right hoping I get his name right in his channel right I I'm so bad at this stuff sometimes he jumps on here from time to time though over two weeks ago I probably did them man I probably did. If not, I'll go back and look. My apologies for not remembering. Um, we got a few different people on there and life's busy. So please don't take any offense, okay? Um, but I will scroll back through and uh, I will take a second look at it. Because if it was two weeks ago, I'm sure I did see it without a doubt. I will go back and look though, Shane, I promise. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Good week coming to the end of the week we'll be coming into the weekend here um working on this bear like i was saying kind of pushing a tree over i did his eyes if i can get the editing done tonight that'll be a tutorial for tomorrow okay how to carve the eyes the way i do using die grinders and flame bits from saber tooth also if you guys didn't get an alert or anything be sure to go over to that subscribe area and hit that bell because i uploaded a video today uh going over battery saws i had a couple questions what should everybody buy you know sort of stuff I get that a lot so I was just showing the saws that I have and what I use what I use them for kind of stuff and uh, hopefully it'll help you guys in uh, purchasing battery saws now under that video I had a question about gas saws and so uh, I will be busy this weekend but next week I will work on putting a video together for like your first one to three gas saws to think about buying as a new carver to uh, help you grow and expand and you know what I mean keep moving as a chainsaw carver three first three gas saws in my opinion the first three that i got and still use so uh let's see here we got some comments i saw it man that was really cool daniel nice work um daniel recently sent me some photos like just the other day on a piece he was doing an on-site carve and uh you did good work man it came out great nice job so I told everybody I'd carve live. I gotta get this tree done, and then we gotta bust out the uh, saber tooth bits and burrs and kind of get this bear cleaned up. And then I have another one here. We'll see what time it is, if we can get him furred and uh, get some other work done on that as well. I'm sorry I can't get you guys up too much closer due to the phone being here, but uh, yeah, I gotta save it, you know? Can't, can't go breaking it. Oh, one other thing. Um, some of you may follow, some of you may not. Some people will laugh, but I did start a TikTok thing a while back, and I told them once I get to a thousand, I'll be going live. So, going live on TikTok, carving once in a while, something I'm going to do. Should be a link. I don't know if there'll be a link below the video right now while it's live, but once it uploads, it'll be there. But it's also under other videos if that's something you guys want to follow. A lot of real short 
kind of video clips, you know, like one minute or less sort of stuff. Uh, usually carvings you all end up seeing here, but in just brief, you know what I mean? Um, people seem to really like that platform, so you got to go wherever people are. I'm not getting rid of YouTube, don't sweat that, but get out of here, fly. But yeah, so, uh, all right. I'm going to start doing some detail work. I'm going to be running the uh, MSA 160C, running all battery saws. That's got the dime tip bar on it. Also going to be running my 200, MSA 200 battery saw with a 12 inch bar. It's just a stock bar with a sprocket. And I might use the 220. I don't know if I'm going to need it. So we got to get in here, make this look like, like, a, like a tree, round over these edges, and we'll get into power tools and doing some nails. In between that sort of stuff, I'll try to grab the phone and bring it in so you guys can see what I got going on. What's up, Sean? How you doing, man? I hope it's good. Hope you're having a good one. Getting ready to do a little work here with the battery saws. Um, once this live feed ends, I will be going over to my TikTok platform, to that platform on that little channel or whatever it is, profile, and going live for them. I told them I would once I hit a thousand. So. When we're done here in a little bit, if you guys want to keep watching some live feed, you'll have to find uh, find me on TikTok. There should be links under other videos and maybe this one. And yes, I wear earmuffs with battery saws because it still gives me a headache. Still gives me a headache.
sticky out here today. What is going on, guys? Scroll back, see what y'all talking about, and then we will go up and get a closer look before we bust out the power tools. Nothing. All right, no worries. What's up, Carl? Thanks for joining. Let's uh, let's unplug this thing. Let's try not to throw the phone on the floor, ground. And let's take a look. This is the hardest way to look at carvings because I'm trying to do the selfie mode thing and show you stuff. So yeah. All right, so I gotta come in, use the power tools, clean all this junk up, right? Clean up these nails, clean up this space in here and around his body. We gotta clean all that up. Clean up these nails. Cleaned up the ears a little bit in the tutorial video. I'm not split in the back for legs. Now, you might say, how come there's no relief cut? Because this is a quartered piece from a big log, okay? If you're doing a round log, you want to put a cut down the back. It'll help it'll alleviate the stress of the log, and hopefully the split will be back here as it dries and not dead center or in the face or something, okay? When you're using a quartered piece or a third of a log even, when you've cut it top to bottom, uh, that stuff doesn't usually happen as much. It just, it doesn't, so I don't worry about it. Got the ears in this face, which I like. So this is what the tutorial's on. If I can get it done tonight, it will be up tomorrow morning, guys. All right, tutorial on how to carve these eyes. Also, I go through and I do the nose and this mouth and uh, these ears. Now, they are already blocked out with the chainsaw. That's just the work using... Uh, the die grinder and stuff that we're gonna do actually to clean this guy up right now so let me put you guys back over here we'll clean it up with that and uh, we'll go from there I swear the uh, shouldn't swear right getting near the end of the day here and it has bear with me feels like it's getting warmer out like what in the heck is going on Earlier today, it was like long sleeve, wearing shorts, you know, getting by with that. And now I'm like roasting. I feel like I'm roasting, but it doesn't help wearing chaps and a mask and gloves and earmuffs. All that good stuff. All right, so going to use the Sabertooth Flame Bit. Hey, while you guys are still here before I start losing people, uh, use code HALL10, capital H, capital A, capital L, capital L, 10, at sabertooth.com and get a discount. I think it's 10% off your order from now to the end of 2021. So it's good all year, all right, guys? Use that, order up your bits, get some great tools, get some great bits. I'm going to be straightforward and honest. I ain't getting no kickback. I'm not, I'm not making any money off that deal. I think they got great tools, and I'm sharing it with you. They made me a code. And you know what? You guys can use it. So use it. Uh, I will say, though, the little bit of partnership that I've had with them, they're a great company. Uh, they've thrown me a lot of extra tools and a lot of extras to use and play with and add to our giveaways. And so I don't mind sharing a code for their, uh, their tools. Absolutely, Carl. Welcome, Bear Cell, man. You're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome. I'm glad. It's awesome to hear that the uh, Welcome Bear tutorials are helping you and you've already got orders. Awesome and congratulations on that. That right there, that right there is like, you know, a big reason why I continue to make these videos. I don't make a ton of money off YouTube at this point. I really, I really don't. I don't. Still work a full-time job, still do all this, and it's just like, when I started carving, there wasn't a bunch of videos of people helping me out. So a lot of this was trial and error for me. And uh, I said, you know what? It'd be cool to make videos to help other people that want to do this. You got to have some sort of skill to kind of start, you know, the want, the drive. Um, it beats you up. You got to be able to see the piece in the log. There's a lot of little things, you know, the money just to get going. And uh, I just wanted to be able to help other people, you know, create this sort of art. So comments like that are awesome it's good to hear that you guys are learning and that people are able to create you know and express themselves that way so congratulations man that is awesome keep at it keep going always be changing thinking ahead and you know what i mean just practice 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 and just keep going and don't forget to stay safe guys all right so i'm gonna go ahead and uh grab the saber tooth burr on the die grinder i'll show you guys which one it is before i start 
and we will start cleaning up this piece once i'm done don't take off on me okay once i'm done we'll do another walk around like we just did so you guys can see everything all the way around it stop splitting okay shane um if you can get big logs and quarter them or cut them into thirds does that make sense you know what i'm talking about Sorry if I sound like I'm breaking it down way too much. I don't think you're dumb, anybody. That's not the case at all. Just, I'm used to like my kids asking questions and so like I over explain things. And then I have to finish my over explanation or it's like can't compute and finish my day, right? So I'm gonna draw a picture. If you're looking down on a log, this would be quartering it, right? Top to bottom. So you're cutting down through the log. When you quarter it, it's not going, you can do that with a third too, okay? So you can third your log, so it's kind of like a peace sign, right? So by doing this, you kind of remove the center of the log from being the center of the log, all right? Now, this is a really important thing. If you're carving from solid logs, the outside dries faster than the inside, okay? So this exterior of the log is gonna dry much faster than the interior. If you guys know or if you don't know, dry things shrink, okay? M wet things full of moisture stay bigger. It sounds weird, but it's, okay, yeah, you get it. All right, you know what I'm saying. So we got all this moisture in here, okay? This is drying. So this will start to develop a crack and pull apart. So we're pulling apart and then we end up with this crack, all right? But if we remove the center, and so now we have a pie shape, whether it's a third or a quarter, the log still pulls, the chunk pulls in one direction, but there's no center for it to pull and crack around. If that makes sense, we're cracking around the center of the log. Um, wood dries roughly one inch per season, per season, okay? So if you have one inch slabs that you just cut and you want to use, they're not going to be dry for a year. If you have two inch slabs that you've cut and you want to use, they're not going to be dry for at least two years. If we're looking at logs, think about how thick that log is. That is never going to dry before it rots. So I carve a lot of solid logs, smaller pieces. You guys see, I use whatever I can get on hand and I always recommend the same thing to you guys but prepare to fix cracks. Learn how to fix cracks and sell it to your customer with the idea it's going to crack. When and where, I don't know, but when it does, I'll repair it. Learn how to fix them, get confident in your repairs so that you can do that for your customers and keep them happy. First repairs are on me, they get it to me, they gotta pick it back up. It's just the way it is. If they gotta ship it to me, then that's on them and they gotta pay to ship it back. I will do the repair for free though. You know what I mean? So. And that goes for orders, like custom orders. Um, and if somebody spends over a certain amount, if somebody spends 400 plus on a bear, 300, 400 plus on a bear, then I say, hey, get it to me, I'll fix it. In a year or two, when it cracks, bring it back, I'll fix it and you pick it back up. Bears that are less than that, I'm not always so quick to offer repairs because it's just, you're not really making any money. If it's a really good repeat customer, well, that's a whole different story. Like, yeah. I'll fix your bear. Why? Because you spend money here. You support me. You come back. You buy more stuff. Keep your customers happy. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about. Especially if you're looking to make money. If you're not and you're having fun, don't worry about it. Have fun. Um, all right. You said you got it. You understand. I'm sure everybody else does too. Any other questions, guys, ask. I will scroll back and take a look. Like I said, bust out the power tools. I'm going to finish this guy up. Don't go anywhere because we will do a full walk around and look at this piece all the way around once I get this done. Because it's going to take me, you know, what's it? I don't, I don't know what the saying is. We'll go as quick as I can. All right, we'll go as quick as I can. Half inch saber tooth flame burr. Green, coarse. Favorite burr. Use it on everything, guys.
careful doing that. Start slapping yourself when it's out there too long. Good times. Good times. All right, you guys want to do a walk around? You guys want to see that up close? Because that guy's done. He's ready for the torch. He'll get another flap sand. And then, uh... Then I'll be ready for, ready for paint. I'm probably not going to do the torching and all that on here, though, because it's really dry under the tent. So I've been burning, hitting them with the torch outside. Uh, just don't want to cause a fire under here, you know? Wouldn't be good. Wouldn't be good. Yes, if you stand wood in oil, it can stop it from splitting. It's also not good, in my opinion, for the wood to be full of oil or antifreeze or any of them other products. Reason being, you don't know what your customer is going to do with it. Um, thanks, Brian. Some customers like to put these carvings in their house, on their floors, on their... And I mean, yeah, we can say that's not my problem, but the reality is, is... People can get really upset when they have an oil-stained rug or oil-stained hardwood floor or oil-stained porch or concrete, you know, because it's it's not going to stay in there forever. It'll absorb it, but over time, it's going to come back out. Uh, you guys can do whatever you want. That's fine. It's okay. <laughs> I don't soak them in oil, though. I don't do that. I won't. I just don't think it's, uh, in my opinion, it's not an option for me. And... Uh, yeah no big deal though don't mean to sound like i'm busting on you you do you if that works for you that is awesome all right let's get a look at this guy like i said i'm gonna be trying to go live hey matt what is going on man i'm gonna be trying to go live on tiktok after this video guys if you want to be able to check that out i told all them when i hit a thousand followers i can go live it says i can we'll see what happens so not doing a lot back here. This bear is pretty much meant to be seen this way, all right? So somebody will push this up against the house or put him in a corner. So not really, you know, doing a ton of work in the back, but there's the eyes. Again, tutorial tomorrow on carving those eyes. And kind of look at doing this face. No chainsaw work, all power tool work, okay? I mean, like, he's blocked out, and I do the fur with the chainsaw in the video. And then I go in and we carve the eyes. That's what the whole video is about, is carving the eyes. But then I also do the nose and the mouth. So you guys can kind of get a tutorial on that for those of you that are looking for one. Uh, somebody recently asked, and so I said, yeah, man, I will make it. So he's done carving. I'm done carving him. Uh, he was pretty much done when I started this video, but I wanted to get on, say hi, and uh, add the details. And I don't know, probably going to... Maybe buzz off here in a minute and go over to the other platform and go live there and work on the next bear. Oh my gosh. Are you guys okay? Anybody sick yet? This stinking thing. I'm like wrapping the holder around an old carving so everybody can see what the heck is going on. What size log was that? Oh, about three feet across. Almost three feet across, I bet. It was all of all of this so <laughs> I think it was close to three feet um, actually ended up getting oh man how many did I get carved up this guy from it five pieces out of that log so I kind of quartered it uh, it wasn't a perfect quartering job so a couple of them were just way too big so I chopped them again and gave me two more pieces to carve from so can't really beat that but it had to be at least three feet three feet across the center so it was a good size chunk um, even if you're getting two footers you know you can quarter them and make smaller bears or just carve the log as it is and just prepare for the cracks so but yeah yeah you guys got any questions anything I can help you with just kind of going live quick finishing that guy up feel free to ask warm out here you know what maybe we'll hit it with the torch the smaller torch not the big flaming torch oh, yeah you can just your carvings are gonna be smaller that's all you know what I mean if you split them 
They're 14 inches across. You're just going to have smaller carvings, bud. That's all. Um, smaller quarters. So you'll be making smaller pieces, ultimately. I mean, you see how big he is. I mean, he's, you know, 24, 26 inches tall. So, you know, you'll have to play around with, you know, how tall do you want those pieces to be and quarter them. And, you know, do one. Don't do them all at once. Just quarter one log that you've got in that size and then see what you can get out of that log. A uh, little bit of practice in smaller bars and a dime tip bar for detail. I mean, you can get little bears. He's just not done. This was out of a branch. So if it was a quartered piece, I mean, you can get small bears, you know. He's like, it's a, it, you know, starting out, people love those things at craft bears. As you get into it though, and you're making bigger pieces and stuff, um, sometimes the smaller ones are a little more work than they're worth. You don't always get your, your money back on them, you know? Cause I mean, that you can't really sell it for more than maybe 30 bucks, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to bust your stones. I'm really not, Carl. Um, it's just, you know, I try not to spill gas on the ground. I try not to spill oil. The idea of like changing your own car oil, keep it clean, you know? Um, yeah, we were running gas saws and we're using oil, so it kind of seems like a conflict, but to me, purposely soaking carvings in oil that's not going to dry because, you know, the finish I'm using is an oil-based finish, but I know it's going to dry. And then the idea that that could seep out over time, like I said, in someone's house or on their porch or the concrete, just, I don't know, to me, I, I don't want to do that, so. All right, let's, uh, let's just hit this guy with his torch a little bit before I go. Give you guys a little color, a little color to look at. quick burn let's uh let's flap sand them real quick and you know what let's just color it let's just color it let's finish it let's just let's do it make sure nothing's on fire let's do it
Woo. I'm plugged it. Doing a spin like I'm on a cordless drill or something. Still working on those attachments and refills. It's that time of year. My metal fab guy's got a lot of other things going on, but hopefully we can get those together before the year's out. We'll see what happens though. We'll see what happens. All right, you guys wanna slap some paint on it? See what we got here? Okay, let's do it. Sounds good. I am live on YouTube. Nobody called me. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to give them a call. Alright, I'll call them as soon as I'm done with this. Got to go do stuff with the wife after this pair, guys. Not impressed that her voice was live on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> Wear a mask. This stuff's bad for you to breathe in like this. It's not good. Those RZ dust masks, they don't really protect you either from the chemicals that are in the air from the paint. They are just dust masks. They are not paint respirators. Even though you see me wearing it like it is one, it helps a little, but it does not help against the fumes that you're breathing in. Just the FYI. Get in there and clean that up later. I'm gonna give him a little brown goatee hanging down there. dry for a minute. Let's go into a Christmas tree. I think it's green. Some kind of green. Cardboard. Cardboard right here. Make it your friend. And still do overspraying like I did. Yeah, great. That's fun. So much for that.
Normally it works fantastic, but you yeah. know. Whatever. What are you gonna do? Go back, sand it off, and repaint it later. Probably what I'll do. This green paint stinks. darker green though because that's just ugly ugly green it's something different here well, it's not what I want. here we go here's a different green Call it a day. Call it a day. Oh, he's a little fella pushing over a tree. Pushing over a tree. That's not black. That's got a strong cap on it. Covering my overspray spots. Hitting it with some black real quick. The overspray isn't so colorful where it's not supposed to be. Cool beans. Alright, I'll give you guys a close up in just a second. want that super super white look on his face a little brown coloration in there it'll darken up with some clear coat on it hey okay, guys we're gonna go in a minute if you guys got questions ask them now have his eyes painted which will be done at a later date all right let me see anything going on here yes for paints expensive man it's uh three or four something a can you get quite a few bears out of one can that are like that size but yeah totally you can always get an airbrush and buy uh a different you know, like a gallon can of paint and dilute it, you know, whether it's oil or water-based or whatever, and do it that way and put a finish over it. So that's always an option. But let's, uh, let's take a walk around this guy before I go, because what time is it? Yeah, I got a vehicle over to uh, the mechanics. I got to go get that thing, so. Nice little tree with a lean, little bear. Oh, yeah. If you guys haven't, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, all right? It really helps. It helps get the uh, the views out there. And I said it earlier, but we are almost at 10,000 subscribers. I got giveaways. Giveaway stuff for when we get to 10,000 subs, all right, guys? Boom. Quick little thing I might actually take a little bit of black spray paint up on that snout um, just super fast and the reason is I don't want to see hard lines where I sanded it away Kaha woodworker pretty sure I think so I got the link under videos I believe there Matt um, Blend it. Oh, blend, blend. All right, good enough. Good enough. Somebody's gonna love him and take him home. If hopefully he makes it to a show. If not, hopefully somebody buys it sooner. Oh yeah, I wanted to give you guys a quick tip for those of you that are still here. 
You guys, uh, you know, you see wearing chaps out here, right? Protecting my legs, even though I'm in shorts because it's hot. Quick little tip. You can take the sleeves off a long sleeve shirt that's junk, you know, where your hand goes through the sleeve. If it's stretchy, cut that sleeve about this long, all right? Slip it over your foot, put your boots on and your sneakers on, and then pull it back down over your boot. You don't have to worry about sawdust getting in your shoe. Quick tip, sawdust in your shoe all day is annoying. It's an, it really is. I'm running these cool things right now. One of these days I'll show you. I'll show you guys these really cool the cool sneaker covers out of an old shirt um all right i gotta go i better go see what the wife wants actually i know what she wants we gotta go pick up the vehicle so uh yeah hope you guys have an awesome evening and uh check out the video from today about battery chainsaws i put up and hopefully there'll be one for tomorrow hope you guys have an awesome weekend enjoy it dads happy father's day a little bit early enjoy your time with the fam and uh Giveaway never comes to the UK. Look at this guy. Look at this guy, Shane. What's it going to cost me to send stuff there, right? Like, ugh, arm and a leg. Matt lives like four days away. He's like six, four days ahead or behind me or some crazy stuff. Hi, huh, Matt. <laughs> it's Friday here, so I think it's Saturday wherever Matt is. Or I got it mixed up. I don't remember. I don't know. I hope you guys have a great evening, though. Have an awesome day. I gotta go. I gotta go do stuff. Other stuff. And uh, I'm gonna try to get back on live on TikTok and work on some other carvings. All right, guys? 50 bucks. 50 bucks for what? 50, $50 for... <sighs> Brian's gotta throw a common in there. Two legs and arms. Yeah, right, Colin? Thanks for stopping. Colin, Colin's a member of the channel. Thanks for being a member, Colin. Appreciate it, buddy appreciate the support <sighs> trying to go is really hard everybody starts commenting and I just want to talk oh ship to the UK gotcha man yeah that's not, that's not horrible I mean okay I'm gonna go for real I gotta go you guys have an awesome evening keep an eye out thank you Jennifer another member you're awesome thanks for being here check out the TikTok guys all right link below this video or some other video go find it and uh i'm gonna be there if everything works out carvin live working on another bear like this live on tiktok okay if it works out so i'm done i'm talking too much i will see you guys later have an awesome night bye